And it's up and it's off the rim and in, Lewis. And add a couple points to his total on the night. Lewis will look to make his second free throw, and it's up, and it's off the rim, no good. Lolly with the rebound. The ball is going to go out of bounds. Well, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. And we're going to step aside real fast. The Lions have a five-point lead to score 24-19. to 19. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on the Basketball League TV. And we're back. This is the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. A couple of corrections. Number nine is Joshua Keyes, not Emilio Parks. Some changes in the roster. Number 12 is RJ Palmer. I'm not sure. I'll continue to go through it now. Now here's Antoine taking it back to the top. It's now number 13. McAllister looking to drive the lane, one-handed off the board, but the extra tipping. It's going to be number 12, Ari McKnight. He's able to whack the rebound away from the Lions player, and it went off the backboard and in. And Lewis couldn't receive the pass, and it's turned over at the Lions. We'll have to go back the other way, and we're going to get a turnover by Raleigh, so two turnovers by both teams. Nick McKenzie will pick up his first foul. 11.20 left to go in the first half. 24 to 21 in favor of the Gulf Coast Lions. Inbounding the ball. Ken Lewis. Now into the corner. It is number nine, Joshua Keyes. It'll come back to May Mabry. The long three-pointer, no good. Now the pass from Jamal Gaines goes off the head of Mabry. Can he get it back? No, it's going to go out of bounds. And a disastrous offensive possession for the Lions. Another turnover. That's two straight turnovers for the Lions. On back-to-back -back possessions, 11.03 left to go in the first half. Still with a three-point lead, though. Inbounding the ball. Will be Nick McKenzie. Feed it to Antoine. Antoine. Now to McAllister. McAllister tries the lane, so the one-hand layup is good. And the score now 24 to 23. Rally chipping away with a five-point deficit. Now here's Mabry. Mabry is going to draw the reach and found Nick McKenzie. He's going to pick up his second. And we'll get some substitutions on favor of the Lions. It's going to be number six, Quinnell Francis. Lewis will come out of the game, and so will Mabry. Francis will inbound the ball. Griffith back in the game. 
Back to Griffith. Now over the three-pointer, no good off the inside of the rim, and it's going to be rebound by Raleigh. Uh, off the line, he's going to miss but handle the ball, and the Lions will get it back. Wow, some sloppy basketball here by both teams. Turnovers on back to back possessions now for Raleigh. After the Lions turn it over twice themselves. 23-24, 10-25 left to go in the second. Here's Griffith. Griffith looking to drive the lane. Layup no good. The rebound no good again. That was RJ Palmer. Picked up the offensive board but couldn't put it in the basket. And Raleigh will come back the other way with their own offensive possession. And he's going to draw the charge. Number 23, Nick McKenzie tried to drive the lane. But he's going to pick up the charging foul. And the Lions will get the ball. That's three straight turnovers for the Firebirds on three straight possessions. And the score remains 24-23. to 23. Here's Griffith. Taking the ball across the line. He's guarded by McNeil. It off now. Down low. It is Palmer. And it's good. Had to use his body. Or Jackson Keys, excuse me. Stop it. We'll have to reset the shot clock. But Joshua Keys using his body. He was knocked to the ground. Still was able to use his muscles to get the basket. And we're going to get a timeout. The Firebirds down by three. Going to use their first timeout. We'll take a break here. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida. The Lions leading by three. The score, 26 to 23. In favor of the home team, 9.49 left to go in the first half. The Raleigh Firebirds were up a couple of points early. The Lions able to get back into the game and take the lead. But it's been some sloppy basketball on both sides. The Firebirds have turned the ball over on three straight possessions. And before that, the Lions turned it over on two consecutive possessions as well. Down low, it's seven, the kick out, and for shot for three, and it's good! Oh, they're gonna say it's two. Must have been just inside. Steel gets two points, and the ball's gonna go out of bounds. And I see who it went off of. Now the score within one, 26 to 25 in favor of the Lions. The Lions are going to maintain possession of the ball. Inbounded by Griffith. And he'll over the head to Jamal Keynes. Now back to Griffith. Now looking, he turns around and shoots. No good, it was short off the rim. And it'll be rebounded by number 13, Jamal McAllister. McAllister feeds it down low, and the shot is good. Number 12, Gary McKnight adds two points to his total, and the score remains within one. Now here's... Sorry, had to... <laughs> had to... Got to be on my toes out here right next to the court. And the Lions are going to take a timeout. We'll take another quick break. The score, 26 to 27 now in favor of Varley. This third lead change of the game. We'll take a break. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TVL TV.
And we're back here. Here is Griffith looking to feed the ball down low. And he finds it. A shot blocked. Trying to go the other way. Here's McAllister. Can he get it? Yes, and one. McAllister. Puts it in. He was able to fight off the foul and put it in. So the old-fashioned three-point play. A possibility for the Firebirds. They're already ahead three, retaking the lead from the Gulf Coast Lions. 8.33 left in the first half. McAllister to the line. He'll bend his knees and shoot, and it's good. Off the rim and in. And Keyes will inbound the ball. He's going to give it to Griffith. Griffith now across that court. Being guarded by McHale. He's going to feed it over the ball. And it was number 12, RJ Palmer. He'll draw the foul looking to drive the lane and put it off the backboard. He's unable to do so. Palmer will go to the line for two, with the Lions down by four, 30 to 26. As we mentioned earlier, Raleigh took the first game in the season series, a score of 120 to 108, and the first free throw, no good, long off the back of the rim. Davis Jr. will come back into the ball game. Out, Cornell Francis. Only substitution for the Lions thus far in the second quarter. And the second free throw is good. Through the netting. And McKeel will inbound it for the Firebirds. Score 27 to 30 in favor Firebirds inside McAllister off the backboard. No good. Rebound being juggled around down low. And a second opportunity. No good. Tony Farmer. Or excuse me. That's number 12. Barry McKnight couldn't get the ball to go on the offensive board. Here's Davis. He kicks it back out. And he'll find Jamal Gaines. And that's going to be a foul on the Firebirds. Number three, Aaron Baker. It should be a second. 7.56 of the second quarter. Lions now only down by three, and it's going to be a technical foul. And Griffith will go to the line for one, and the ball, and he shoots, and it's short off the front of the rim. And they won't get the point, but they'll maintain possession of the ball. Number four, Jamal Keith will inbound the ball to so R.J. Palmer. Now to Griffith. Griffith. He's guarded and kept to the outside. He's going to pick up the screen from Palmer. And he'll throw the ball to Palmer now into the corner. That should have been a, should have been a, that should have been a shot clock violation. I'm not sure what happened. The buzzer went off well before the Lions shot the ball. Now they pick it up. The Lions going to get the points anyway. Now 30 to 29. Now down low, Shaq Dance is going to draw a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line for two. He's been perfect from the line so far. He's been in the line twice. Shaq Dance looking to keep the Firebirds in front. The score 30 to 29, a one point game. Here was 7, 18 left to go in the second quarter and in the first half. And we'll bend his knees and shoot. And it's good. Another swish. I'm not sure he's... He hasn't hit the rim on any of his first free throws. 
Well, the second ones have bounced off the rim and in, but his first ones have gone straight through the netting. Palmer will come out of the game. And into the game, back comes Isaac Freeman. Or excuse me, that was Quanell Denson. Well, here's Griffiths with the ball across half court. He'll feed it to Jamal Gaines with the long jumper, and it's good! Jamal Gaines puts the Lions back within two, or one, excuse me. Lions keeping this ball game close. It's been an entertaining one here. Shaq Dance hands it off the right wing to Tony Farmer. Now number seven, John McKillen, and he feeds it into the basket. Mc Milligan sends the lead back to three. And the shot by the Lions no good. It'll be rebounded by Raleigh. They're ahead by three with 6.30 left to go in the second quarter. Here's Tony Farmer. We'll hand it off to Milligan. Milligan looking to drive the lane. It's guarded there by Griffin. A kick out back to Shaq Nance. Nance guarded by Davis. Nance is going to use his quickness. He tried to one hand it off the backboard. No good. And it's picked up by the Lions. Now Jamal Gaines with the reverse layup. He put it too far. No good. And it'll be rebounded by number 44. Guard this win here. Farmer kicks it out to the right wing. The Baker, Baker for three, no good. Off the rim, and it's rebounded by Griffin. Griffin, it's going to look to go coast to coast. He puts it off the backboard, no good, and it'll be rebounded by Tony Farmer. But number 11 for Gulf Coast. That's Quinnell Denton will pick up the foul. And Denton will come out of the game and... Joshua Keyes will replace him. Here's Milligan. Guarded by Griffin. Now feed on the inside. It's going to be picked off by Keyes. Nice defensive read by Keyes. And now a long pass to Jamal Gaines. Gaines steps back. He'll shoot for two. And it's good right through the netting. Jamal Gaines picks up another two points. And he makes the lead for Raleigh. Just one with 531 left to go in the second quarter. Jamal Keynes, a big part of the Lions offense thus far. He's been hot here in the second quarter. Here's Shaq Dance. For the right wing, it's number three, Aaron Baker. Back to Farmer. Hands it off to Milligan. Milligan dribbling. He's got some nice moves. Able to get back to the better run. Hands it off to Farmer down low. He's soon short off the front of the rim. A rebound. It's young. A nice. Stutter move, but it's no good to lay off off the front of the rim. That was number five, DJ Lester. And now here's Baker. Baker in the shot was blocked. Jack Dance had a shot blocked by Griffith. Griffin the other way now to Davis. At the right wing. Davis going to drive inside, makes a stutter step in. One pass the layup into the, into the goal. And the Lions are back in front, 35 to 34. And back the other way will come Raleigh. Oh, a nice spin move, and off the back of the backboard, and in, that was John Milligan. A nice play, and the Firebirds regain their one-point lead. 36 to 35, rally with 418 left. Davis puts it up, it's blocked by Farmer. Davis looking, fakes the shot, puts it up, off the back of the rim, no good, but Lester with the rebound for the Lions. He'll shoot. And it's good! Off the back of the rim and in. DJ Lester gets the Lions to lead back. And it's 37 to 36 with 403 left to go in the second quarter. DJ Lester and Jamal Gaines have been a big part of the second quarter for the Lions. They've kept the game close and then have taken the lead back. Numerous leap changes in this game. It's been a close one. Here is Farmer. Farmer will spin, turn down low at the post, and it's good. And the Firebirds will regain their lead back. And it's 38 to 37 with 3:41 left to go in the second. Down low to Lester. Lester fakes the shot. Look at Simon's side. He's guarded by Leonard. He'll post up, and it's good! Leonard 
couldn't beat Lester off the board, and it's 39 to 38. The Lions regain the lead. It's Milligan. Milligan feeds it inside the farmer. Farmer looking to drive inside. And gonna get a foul on DJ Lester. And he is shocked. He doesn't even know what happened. And it's going to be a technical foul. So John Milligan will go to the line for two. The native of Orlando, Florida, just about an hour away. Here, and his shot is good. So they'll tie the game at 39 apiece, and they'll maintain possession of the ball, looking to retake their lead. And a pretty evenly played game so far. Was been sloppy at points. Lots of turnovers on both sides. But the offense has definitely picked up here. In the second quarter, a long three-pointer for Milligan. No good. It'll be rebounded by Davis. They'll find DJ Lester. Now he will hand it back to Lester. Now Davis thinks about a three. He stops up and will retreat. Now looks to move around a couple defenders. Now he finds Jamal Gaines. Now into the corner for three to Griffin. Oh, no good. Rims. Skirts off the rim. And now Shatkamp will get the ball the other way. Looking to drive inside on Davis. Can he put it up? He does, but it's no good. And the rebound comes to Lester. Lester hands it off. Keys underneath the rim. Now to Lester. And it's good. One hands it up and over the rim and in. And it's 41 to 39. Gulf Coast with the lead. 2.30 left to go in the second quarter. The big man, Leonard, hands it off to Shaq Dance. Shaq Dance now on the left wing. He feeds it in low, the one-handed turnaround shot, and it's good. Number 44, Darby. Is Leonard ties the game at 41 apiece with 2.16 left to go. And a nice response there for the Firebirds. Here is Rockets, Griffiths, a fadeaway shot, and it's good. It hit the rim a couple times. And found its way through the basket. The Lions has the lead again. Back and forth we go. 43 to 31. 156 left to go in the first half. And a foul. That was Milligan. Oh, they're going to call it travel. Well, Milligan ended up on the floor. I originally thought it was going to be a foul, but they're going to call it travel on Milligan. And the Lions will keep the ball. Wiping the ball off. Griffith will inbound it. Davis is right there. 154. Left to go in the second quarter. 43 to 41. In favor of the Gulf Coast Lions. Here's Griffith. He's going to pick up the screen. Griffith finds an open jumper. And it's good right through the rim. Almost a little one-handed jumper. Bracken Griffith puts it in. I'm having some trouble with the shot clock here. Seems to have figured it out. Here's Milligan. Milligan hits the ball off to the end. Dance with the three-pointer, and it's good. Shaq Dance, another three-pointer. He hit one early in the first quarter. And it's 44 to 33. Lions, excuse me. 5-44. It means 108 left to go in the second quarter. Missed up at the by the Lions. Shaq Dan turns around, but he turns it over. Right to Damian Young. Damian Young hands it off to Davis, who's going to draw the foul. He put it in, so he gets the plus one. Eric Davis Jr. off the feed from Damian Young. Is able to put it in the basket despite the foul, and he'll get the plus one. 47 to 44.
And Eric Davis Jr. will go to the line for two. 59 seconds left to go in the second half. Davis Jr.'s first trip to the line today. He'll bend his knees and shoot. And it's good off the front of the rim and in. And it's going to be a 48 to 44 lead for the Lions. Here's Milligan. Hands, hands it off to McAllister. McAllister with the ball. Spin, turn, puts it up. And it's still good off the front of the rim. And it's going to be picked up by the Lions. It'll be shoveled ahead. Downloaded Davis Jr. Off the back, put it in the one handed layup. And Eric Davis Jr. adds two points to his night and will give the Lions a six-point lead. It's their largest of the day with 38 seconds left to go in the first half. Here's Milligan with the ball. Milligan. Being guarded by Damian Young. Milligan kicks it back out to Shaq Dan. Pick up a screen from McAllister. Now being guarded by Keyes. His layup no good. The rebound bouncing around. And it's kept in. Shaq Dan from the corner three. It's no good. Short off the front of the rim. And the rebound picked up by Griffith. Griffith looking to take it coast to coast. But hands it off to Keyes for the easy layup. Joshua Keyes. Puts it in, and the lead now to 862 to 44 with three seconds left. Two. What a long heave by Milligan and his Milligan. And the Lions are going to be rolling into the second half with a eight point lead. The score 52 to 44. We're going to take our halftime break. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. The Gulf Coast Lions up 52 to 44 over the Raleigh Firebirds. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV.
And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida. The Gulf Coast Lions got hot late in that second quarter. Able to jump out to an eight-point lead, 52-44. to 44. The score. Inbounding the ball is the Firebirds, and could be a possible steal. And it is. It's going to be a two-on-one the other way to pull-up shot. It's good. That was number 11, Quinnell Denson, and a shot by the Firebirds. No good. Short off the front of the rim. Back the other way comes Griffith. Griffith. The kick out in the corner and out of the wing. For three, no good off the back side of the rim. And it's going to be rebounded by John Milligan. 11.20 left to go. It's 54-44, to 44, a 10-point lead, the largest lead of the night for the Lions. Now back to Leonard. Leonard's shot, no good, short off the front of the rim. And it'll be rebounded by Damian Young. He hands the ball off to Griffith. Now to Cornell Denson. Benson's going to shoot over Leonard. It's no good long. The rebound is punched out by Damian Young. And you're going to get a stop to fix the shot clock. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. But a nice play by Damian and Gunn. The shot by Cornell Denson was off the mark, but Young was able to punch the rebound out. Now, here is DJ Lester. He'll dribble down low at the post, stop up short. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Denson. Now to Eric Davis. At the wing now, in to the right corner. It's Damian Young, no good. It was long. And the rebound by Tony Farmer. Off the Firebirds, down 10. Here's Farmer. Now kicks it out. And ends up with Shaq Dance. Dance, he's going to look to drive the lane. Spins, turns, and a one-handed layoff off the backboard. Shaq Dance has been the best player for the Firebirds tonight. Two three-pointers in the first half. And that beauty of a spin move to get free for the one-handed layup off the backboard. Now here's Griffith, hands it off to Davis. Davis, looking, he'll stop up for three. It's good! Eric Davis Jr., his first three-pointer of the night. And it was right through the netting. And it is a... 11 point lead for the Lions. And here's a shot for three for the Firebirds, short off the front of the rim. And back the other way comes the Lions. Now a kick out. Denson for two. No good. Hit off both rims. And the board will be picked up by Tony Farmer. Farmer looking to cut inside, one handed, no short off the rim. He'll get his own offensive board off the backboard. That time, no good as well. And Denson comes up with that one. And the Lions will slow things up. Griffith will come back. Griffith guarded by Milligan. Looking. Now by Davis. Davis kicks back and pulls up, and it's no good. It was an air ball. Missed by quite a large margin. An empty offensive possession for the Lions, but they'll stick with their 11 point lead, their largest of the night. 9.05 left to go in the third quarter. And it'll be kicked back. The shot, no good. That was Milligan's shot. It'll be rebounded by Griffith. Griffith's got to go coast to coast. He'll put it into the corner. And it is no good. It was long. Bounced off the far rim from the corner. That was Damian Young. And it's rebounded by Milligan. Milligan will slow up. He'll hand it off to Shaq Dance on the right wing. There's Shaq Dance fakes the shot. Moves inside. And it's stolen away by Griffith. And a long pass down to Damian Young. He pulls it all in. And the slam. Jam, bam. That was Damian Young. Makes the lead 13. And the Lions storming away with 8.30 left in the third quarter. A 13-point lead. And their longest run of the night of consecutive scoring. Here's John Milligan. Now working inside to Tony Farmer. Look to back towards the post. Stop up. Guard it. And pass it on the middle block. He gets it back to a farmer and looking. It's caught in his feet. Puts it in on the reverse layup. That was Leonard looking for a foul. He did not get one. He did not get one for his teammate. The lead now. 11 again. And the shot. No good. Can the Lions get it back? Yes. 
It's Lester. Lester kicks it all the way out. A tip by Griffith. Now to Young. Young lunges forward. It was no good off the backboard. And here come the Firebirds the other way. It's Milligan, Milligan looking to drive inside on Davis. And he picks up the foul. Milligan will head to the line. First time in the second half. I believe that's the first foul of the line of the half for the Lions. And the shot is up and it's good. Banking off the rim. And he makes it a 10-point game. He'll look to make it nine. And it's up. And it's good. Bounces off the front of the rim and rolls in. And the lead now cuts to nine. 59 to 50. 731 left to go in the third quarter. Here's Mabry, who checked into the game during that free throw sequence. Davis now looking to drive inside. A foul's going to be called. And it's going to be on the Firebirds. It's going to be 24 Shaft Dance, who was on the coverage. And the Lions will maintain possession of the ball. 14 on the shot clock for the Lions. Davis will inbound the ball. They'll find Mabry. Mabry will stop up and shoot. No good. Bounce off the front of the rim. And the rebound will be picked up by Tony Farmer. Farmer hands the ball off to Shaq Dance. He's got a wide open three, and it's good. Shaq Dance has been Riley's best player. Alliance had a lead of 13 at one point. It's now cut to six. A big run to get back into this game for the Firebirds. 6.58 left to go in the third quarter. 59 to 53. Now can we put down low. Presents it off the rim. No good. He gets his rebound. Off the backboard again. And it's in. Cornell Denson makes the lead. 61 to 53. As the Firebirds take it back the other way. Baker. Off the farmer. Farmer went to go up for the shot. And he draws the foul. He tried to pull up from about five feet. And the Firebirds will inbound the ball. It's going to be number 15, Daquan Antoine. So we're going to get some substitutions for the Lions as well. As we're going to take a timeout with 6.34 left to go in the third quarter. The score, Gulf Coast 61, Raleigh 53. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TVL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida. 6.34 left to go in the third quarter. 61-53. to 53. The Lions on top of the Rally Firebirds. Tony Farmer to the line for two. And he bends his knees and shoots. And it's no good. Bounced off the front of the rim. Was looking like it was going to roll in, but did not. So... The lead for the Lions remains eight. 
He'll bend his knees and shoot once more, and this one's good. Right through the netting. And Palmer will inbound it, or excuse me, Keys will inbound it to Mabry. Mabry down to the left here. Looking at Davis, decides to triple. He'll stop back, pull up, and shoot. And it's good. DJ Lester gets points on the board for the Lions at 63-54. Here, nearly just over halfway through the third quarter. There's Tony Farmer now on the right wing. They'll look to feed it to Shaq Dance. His layup off the rim, no good. And Farmer was looking to get the rebound, but he could not. Bounced off his hands and out of bounds. And the Lions will take over possession. Things going the Lions' way right now. The Firebird has gotten it back to within a six-point game, but the Lions pulling away once again. Now up by nine. Here's Eric Davis. Now in the right corner. He'll take it back. On the left wing. Hands it off. And a nice one-handed layup driving the lane with number five, DJ Lester. Milligan had it. Oh, he got stopped up and hit, but a kick back out to Antoine. And it's a good, a three-pointer. The lead now to eight. 65-57. Here's Davis at the foul line. Looking, looking, turning. And he had the ball punched away by Antoine. Back the other way comes Farmer. And he tried the one-handed over the shoulder to Farmer. Or, excuse me, to Antoine. He gets it back into the corner. No good. The rebound. Oh, that was a sloppy sequence. Farmer was underneath the basket. He missed two layups and was able to get the rebound. No Lions player in the vicinity able to break his big... Big rock, Stony Farmer, the six-foot forward out of Cleveland, Ohio. Had numerous looks at the basket. And now a traveling violation by the Lions. That was Mabry. He tried to turn around and feed it back to the point to Lester. But he traveled, took an extra step, and the Firebirds get the ball back, only down by six. Here's William McNeil. Handed off to Farmer. Farmer driving inside. He'll pull up for the jumper. No good short off the front of the rim. Gets it back now. A feet inside, and it's good! That... Was number five, DJ Lester. Now back the other way, the Firebirds. It was Shaq Dance. Couldn't get the layup. And it's rebounded by number nine, Joshua Keyes. Now looking to drive inside again. It's DJ Lester. And he does it again. DJ Lester is on fire. The score now, 69 to 59. Two straight baskets by DJ Lester. And... The Lions reclaim a 10-point lead. The Firebirds back the other way. drew a foul. They were hoping for the end one. I do not believe they got it. As it stands, a 10-point lead for the Lions. It's the second 10-point lead of the evening. 3.43 left to go in this third quarter. Well, the last game between these two teams last Friday was 120-108. Not sure if we're going to reach that number. Been some sloppy basketball, lots of turnovers on both teams, and they did they did give him the plus one, and he does get it. So the old-fashioned three-point play for McNeil, and the lead cut to seven. Now driving inside with the one-handed layup, no good. 
That was Malcolm Mabry, and back the other way come the Firebirds. And a kick out to Antoine. Now cross court to Farmer. Farmer is going to cut towards the inside. He had the ball stripped away. It's Lewis. Lewis is going to get fouled running down the court. And the Lions have played pretty well defensively. They've had a couple takeaways. Really, their worst defensive session of the ball game was a few minutes ago when Farmer was able to stand underneath the basket unimpeded and get two of his own rebounds and finally put it in. But the inbound now to number six, Cornell Francis. He hands the ball off to Mabry. He's guarded by McGill. He'll get the screen. And he wants to drive the inside. The ball was tipped. No good. He looked for contact. Didn't get it. Now back the other way, McNeil. McNeil with an easy layup and off the backboard and in. And it's 69 to 54. Lions, their lead is now being shrunk. They've had two 10-point leads tonight. Both in the second half in this third quarter. Now a kick out into the corner. It's Lester. Lester comes towards the middle. One hands it. No. Off the back of the rim. Excuse me. That was Mabry. And now a three for McNeil, no good. He rushed the shot just to hair. And back the other way comes Francis. Francis hands the ball off. Now into the middle to Lewis, and it's good. The easy layup for Ken Lewis at 71 to 64 now. The Firebirds will slow things down. It's been at a frantic pace. Not down low, a turnaround shot for Leonard, no good. And it'll be a rebound by Joshua Keyes. Keyes now rushing the ball up the court. We'll have a stop. Try and fix the shot clock. And we'll get some substitutions for the Firebirds. Leonard and Farmer come out of the game. And into the game comes McAllister. And McKnight. Well, we're going to take a short break here. 2.11 left to go in the third quarter. The score, Gulf Coast 71 and Raleigh 64. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota. The Lions inbounding the ball. Up seven, and they're going to be up nine now. And it's DJ Luster again. Extending the Lions' lead to nine. Now Shaq Dance looking to drive the basket, and he's going to get fouled. A nice long court pass up to Dance. Dance was able to drive the lane. And there was two Lions there, but he caught... Both of them as he went down to the floor hard and he'll get two from the line. Jack Dance has been perfect from the line today. He's made three trips. He's gotten all six free throws. And the shot is up and it's good. Jack Dance remains perfect from the free throw line. Going seven for seven and eight for eight. That one right through the netting with a minute 56 left to go in this third quarter. Avery now will feed it to Ken Lewis. Ken Lewis tried to drive the lane, but it is absolutely rejected. Now a kickoff feed, an open three pointer, no good, short off the rim. 
And now a long feed to Moro. Moro has a wide open breakaway, and it's no good. Now back the other way comes Raleigh. It's McNeil. McNeil kicks it out to Dan. He has an open three. Fakes the shot. Looks to drive the lane. Now into the corner for Antoine. It's no good. The rebound punched out and kept alive. McAllister. Now to Antoine. Sorry, it was the other way around. Antoine and McAllister. It'll be kicked out to Antoine on the wing. Antoine has the ball stripped away. But they're going to call a foul on Ken Lewis. As he was streaking down the court looking for a breakaway. Decided to call a foul. And the Lions encouraged with their defense. However, Antoine to the line and he'll get one. We're now 73 to 67. And it is good again. Antoine, his first trip to the line, he gets both. 73 to 68. Now into the corner, Lewis. Back to the point. To Lester, Lester is going to dribble in, pull up, and shoot, and it's good! DJ Lester gets it again. He's been the Lions' best player tonight. With a minute left, it's now 75 to 68. Now, fadeaway jumper by McNeil, no good. The rebound's going to be picked up by Lester. Here comes Lester on a 2 on 2, looking to drive the lane, a reverse play, no good. But the rebound is faked in by Ken Lewis. Makes it 77 to 68. The 11 point lead is back. The Lions with their third 10 plus point lead of the night. 39 seconds left in the half. In the third quarter, excuse me. Now here's Dance. Dance has got some shape there, but it's blocked. Joshua. Keith blocked the shot, but there is number two McNeil trying to put it between his legs and go up on the layup. It was no good. And the rebound is batted around until it goes out of bounds. And the Lions are going to get possession. Comes Mabry, the score 77 to 68. In favor of the Lions. Now here's DJ Lister, thought about the three dribbles, pulls back, shoots! No good. Just a tad bit long, Lester looking to add more points to his total. And here comes the long on the, at the horn was no good. That was number two, McNeil. He ran into a Lions player. And no fouls call, and they're not happy about it. It's getting his explanation from the ref, but we'll take a short break here from Sarasota. The score 77 68 in favor of Gulf Coast. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida. 
The Gulf Coast Lions with an 11 point lead. It's their second 11 point lead of the night. Their third 10 plus point lead of the night. The largest lead 13 as we start the fourth quarter. Lions inbound the ball. It is keys to Mabry. Up to Mabry. Guarded there by McNeil. Now into the corner. Morrow. Morrow with an open three. Hook. Oh, the rim. And no good. McNeil with the board. He'll come in. I'll kick it out. Over for a three-pointer, no good. Off the rim, but the tip in is going to be rebounded by McAllister. McAllister is going to get fouled, reaching up. It was a second attempt effort by McAllister. He couldn't put it in, but he'll go to the line for two with 11.38 left in the fourth quarter. And the shot is up, and it's good. And the second one's up. No good. It was long. Bounced off the rim, but the rebound reclaimed by the Firebirds. But Ken Lewis stole it away. But the Lions get it back now. Down low and a slam dunk. That was number 12, Gary McKnight. The Lions thought they'd come away with a steal. But it came right to a Firebirds player, and he was able to feed it down to McKnight, who was wide open in the paint, and was able to slam it down and cut the Lions' lead to six. It's a deal, looking to drive inside, and it had it stripped away by Mabry. Can Mabry get the ball? Yes! But the whistle blows. I believe we're going to get a foul. And back into the game comes Cornell Francis. Brandon Moore will come out for the Lions. 11-16 left to go in this fourth and final quarter. The Lions up by six. Firebirds will inbound the ball. It's Aaron Baker on the inbound. McAllister, McAllister's going to draw, and it's going to be a charge. McAllister trying to drive the lane on Joshua Keyes. Keyes set his feet and draws the charge. And the Lions will regain possession of the ball with 11-11 left to go in the fourth quarter. The Lions up by six. They have not trailed. Since about three minutes left to go in the second quarter. Ever since then, the Lions have had firm control over the lead, maintaining the point differential by at least four. Hasn't been closer than that since the Lions retook their third lead of the ball game. Now here's Malcolm Mabry, he gets a screen. From a pressure in McNeil. Mabry now puts it into the corner. It's Francis. Francis will pull up and shoot. It's good. Cornell Francis gets on the board. And the Lions now 79 71. As time is becoming a factor for the Firebirds, they've got to get something going offensively. They struggled since really midway through the second quarter. Baker will inbound the ball. He finds Antoine. Antoine finds McAllister. McAllister hands it back to Antoine on the wing. And he comes back to the point. He kicks it off to the wing. And a shot from long range, no good. It was short. And that was McNeil. And the Lions will rebound it. It's Joshua Keyes. Keyes will give it off to Ken Lewis. Lewis now kicks it out. It's Lester. He got it! DJ Lester for three, and the Lions up 82 to 71. Another 11 point lead, and another offensive foul on the Firebirds. The Lions are roaring. Can't win in the ball game. Up 82 to 71. Another offensive foul by the Firebirds gives the Lions the ball back, and we'll get some substitutions on the floor. But the Lions feeling very good about themselves. Here with 10-15 left to go in this ballgame. Not over, sir. 
Third 11 point lead of the game. But the Lions have led since about halfway through the second quarter. Mabry he finds Quinnell Francis. Francis comes to the three point line. It was two, he just stepped over it. It was no good anyway. And the ball picked up by the Firebirds. Now here's Milligan. Milligan looked to drive the lane, almost had it stripped away. He kicks it back out. McAllister driving towards the paint. It's no good. The rebound, though. Farmer puts it up. No good. Farmer gets it back again. And it's good. And a foul. A farmer is going to go to the line for the plus one. Farmer, again, he's been a beast on the offensive boards. None of the Lions have been able to keep him out of the paint. That's his, the second time that he's grabbed two of his own offensive rebounds right around the basket and put in the third attempt. 9.44 to go. It's 82-73. to 73. Bend his knees and shoot. And this one's no good. The rebound by DJ Lester. Lester has been the Lions' best player by far tonight. And it's really been the driving force behind this nice run for the Lions. Now Mabry. It's up. Francis is going to try the lane. He'll fall down and just chuck it up. It's going to be blocked and picked off. There's Farmer the other way, driving the lane. He'll put it up, and he'll draw another foul. Well, if there's been a one-stop point for the Lions tonight, it's been guarding Tony Farmer, who has at least five offensive rebounds. Farmer to the line. He'll shoot, and it's no good off the front of the rim. Ken Lewis letting him hear it. And as Lewis comes out of the ball game, it'll be number four. Jamal Gaines, he had a big role in that second quarter for the Lions. On the floor for the Lions, Francis, Lester, Gaines, Mabry and Keys. And this one is good. For the Lions. And the Lions will draw a foul. Jamal Gaines is going to get credited for drawing that foul. The Lions will maintain possession. They do have the possession arrow. If anybody was wondering. Jamal Gaines will inbound the ball. He'll find Malcolm Mabry. Mabry will look to bounce pass it down low. It's blocked away. But it's picked up by Francis. Francis drives the lane. It's good. Jamal Francis. Does a nice job of recovering the steal and then driving the lane. Now here come the Firebirds now. Here's McAllister trying to put up one hand. It's Farmer now back below the basket. Another offensive rebound. For Tony Farmer, they've really been cleaning up the boards for the Firebirds, 84 to 76 now. Oh, well, here's Jamal Gaines, finds an open spot, and puts it in! Jamal Gaines, back at it, after he sat a while. Well, good to see him back on it now, here's Tony Farmer, makes the shot, drives towards the paint, hands it off, and the layup for Shaq Hans is good. Nice possession there by the Firebirds. Going to keep the lane within six. And the Lions are going to use one of their... I believe the Lions are going to use one of their timeouts. Not sure, but we're definitely going to get some substitution. R.J. Palmer back in the game for the Lions. to see what develops of this. I guess they're not going to use their timeout. 8-18 left to go in the fourth quarter. 86-78 to in favor of the Lions. The inbound by Keith to Mabry. Mabry's going to accelerate past the half-point line. He'll pass past it down low. It's guess who? DJ Lester puts the ball in. It's 88-78. to 
Uh, going on in here is Milligan, and Milligan was guarded by Francis, was trying to gain the outside and drive around him. He'll pick up. Excuse me, he'll draw the foul. Francis will pick it up. Not in the bonus yet. Lions up by 10 once again. Down low, the shot off the backboard in another offensive board for the Firebirds. He'll put up the fadeaway shot, no good. Farmer with another offensive rebound, and he puts it off the backboard. And then Tony Farmer has done an incredible, incredible job at, on the offensive rebound. Looking down low, pass. Looking to go to Jamal Gaines in the corner, was almost picked off. It was shacked in. Lex lost him and had a place for the Lions will maintain possession. 14 seconds left to go on the shot clock. The score 88 to 82. In favor of the Gold Coast Lions. Jamal Gaines, he'll shoot, it's no good off the rim, battling for it, he's Keith, a nice offensive rebound, and he's going to draw the offensive foul, excuse me, draw the defensive foul, and the Lions are going to maintain possession of the ball. Now, looking to move around McAllister, he's going to try the lane and go, but he gets it. McAllister was able to fight through a couple hands and put two more points on the board to score 90 to 82. Halfway through the fourth and final quarter. Now, Farmer, Farmer stops up, puts it up, no good. Can he get the offensive rebound? Yes, he can again. Looking to go fight forward and press it off the board and in. Tony Farmer has done an incredible job. Fighting for offensive rebounds. He had to work hard for that one, but he got it nonetheless and is able to put two more points on the board for the Fireboard. Now here is Damian Young. Or excuse me, that is Malcolm. Mabry was trying to fight. And we're going to get a timeout. We'll take a break here. 6.27 left to go in the final quarter. The score 90 to 84, Gulf Coast.
And a takeaway by the Firebirds, and it's going to go in the basket. It's McAllister. The game now within four, which seems like a pretty comfortable line lead has now been trapped. Just four points. Now driving down low, and it is Keith R.J. Plummer who's going to draw a foul. It was McAllister who tripped him up. 6.09 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's 90 to 86. Lions have had three separate 10 point leads, three separate 11 point leads. And now, danger of losing it. And look at that. You gotta love the holiness of small-time basketball. The players gotta clean up their own sweat. We're not fancy enough to have someone come do it for them. Oh, you gotta love it. It's cool to see these guys. All these guys are really great. Good, good people all the way around. It's nice to see these guys get a chance to play professional basketball on some level. A lot of these guys have played colleges, whether it's D1, D2, or D3. It's good to get these guys' names out there. Jamal Gaines is going to inbound the ball for the Lions. The lead now four, with 6.09 left to go in the final quarter. Here's Gaines. Inbound the ball to Malcolm Mabry. Mabry guarded by Milligan. Mabry kicks it back out to the point to Keyes. Keyes is going to look to drive towards the paint. He'll spin, turn, get inside position, no good. And he has his hand on the ball for the offensive rebound, and it just bounced off his hand. And the Firebirds will take over with a chance to cut the lead to just two. <laughs> uh, there's Ken Lewis telling Keys to finish his food. And I think he wanted Keys to come up with that rebound. Unfortunately, he could not. 548 left to go in the fourth. 90 to 86. There is Shaq Dan. Dance is going to look to drive. And he's going to get a Got to draw a foul. The official said there was contact as Dance was driving towards the basket. And in the bonus, they'll get the one and one. They're going to give him two, I believe. And the shot is no good. That's Shaq's first missed free throw of the game. It was a perfect 8 for 8 before missing that one. He's 8 for 9 now. Dance will bend his knees, and that one will be good, so he's 9 for 10. On the night from the free throw line, it's now 90-87, the lead for the Lions, just three. There is Malcolm Mabry. Guarded by Million. Mabry is going to look to drive the lane. One hit, but it's good! Malcolm Mabry scores for the Lions. And it's a five-point lead for the hometown team. Driving the lane is chance to kick out. And a nice shot, and it's going to rip in now, but the rebound by Dan, and it goes in. 92 to 89 is the score, and the offensive rebounding for the Firebirds continues. It's been the story of the night for them so far. Here's Milligan. Milligan the dance. He thinks about his three-point shot, thinks about it again, decides to give it off to Milligan at the wing. Here's Farmer down low, cuts inside, and they're going to wave off the basket. But they're going to give a foul to the Lions. It's going to be to number 12, R.J. Palmer. And back, the Firebirds will go to the line. It's a three-point game. They'll have the chance to cut it to just one. Tony Farmer is going to go to the line. Substitutes waiting in the wing for the Lions. Farmer. Bends his knees and shoots, and it's good. 
92-90. And substitutes will come into the game for the Lions. Palmer, Francis, and Keyes will come out of the game. Griffith will come in. And so will Quinnell Denson. DJ Lester will stay in the ballgame along with Malcolm Mabry. So on the floor is Jamal Gaines. Mabry receives the inbound. We're going to get a stop. The shot clock was not ready to go. So we'll do it all again. The score, 92-91. to 91. A comeback story for the Firebirds. They've trailed by 10 three separate times in this ballgame. And they've got it to a one-point deficit with 4.47 left to go in the final quarter. There's Malcolm Mabry. He'll take the board across the half-court line. He'll look to drive towards the paint. And he's going to get stripped, and they're going to call a foul. Tony Parker ain't happy about it. He was about to walk away on a breakaway. He had teammates coming with him as well. The Lions in the bonus now, too. Mabry will go to the line. Shoot for two, Malcolm Mabry. He needs to extend this lead for the Lions, and he puts it up, and it's no good. Bounces off the front of the rim and to the right. The lead remains just one for the Lions. Bend his knees and put it up, and that one's good. That's a big one to hit. You didn't want to miss both there. The lead back to two. Which forces the Firebirds to think about a three if they want to take the lead. Now here's Farmer. Farmer backing up Gaines, and Gaines is going to take a foul. Way over match is Gaines. Farmer, 6'7", the native of Cleveland, Ohio. Farmer from the line once more. He'll bend his knees, shoots, and it's good. He's made his last three free throws. That's Farmer, and it's 93 to 92. While the Lions seem in control of this game, they've lost it. A lead now just one. Farmer with a chance to tie the game with 424 left to go in the fourth quarter. He bends his knees and shoots, and it's good. A tie ball game. 93 apiece, 421 left to go. Looks like this one's going to come right down to the wire. Griffin. And he's guarded there. He'll look to drive inside one hand, and he has the ball stripped, but gets it back, trying to kick it out to Davis, and it's picked off. Farmer going to go the other way. It's a one on two. He'll stop up. Looks about a three pointer, tries to draw contact, and it's way long. Not a great decision if you're Farmer. Now off to Mabry. Mabry tried the layup, and he's going to draw the foul. We had Jamal Gaines with him. He decided to take it himself. He ends up drawing the foul. He's one of two from the line. And the Lions have a chance to retake their lead only by two. And, and Malcolm Mabry will grab the Swiffer Duster and wipe off some of that wet sweat from the floor. You won't see that in the NBA, folks. You just won't. I don't think Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to grab any type of room any time on the court. 3.56 left to go in the final quarter, 93-93. to 93. Malcolm Mabry bends up and shoots, and he misses another free throw. It's long off the back of the rim. We'll get a substitute. Jamal Games will come out of the game, and in his place will come Damian Young. There's Malcolm Mabry. Can he hit his second one? Yes, he can. That's twice in a row now. He's missed his first, but made the second. 
It gives the Lions a one-point lead. Bounding the ball is Jack Dance. He'll hand it to Milligan. Milligan's going to decide to drive it himself, and he stepped out of bounds! John Milligan was trying to drive the basket. He was looking to go underneath. He was guarded nicely. He ended up stepping on the line, and the Lions forced the turnover. Here's Malcolm Avery with the ball. He's guarded by Milligan. He gives it off to Damian Young. And a Cornell Benson. Now back to Young. Young is going to drive. Looks for the one-handed layup, and it is blocked. And it was picked up by John Milligan. DJ Lester came in and punched the ball away, but it goes out of bounds. And the rebound, or sorry, it goes out of bounds, and the possession will go to the Firebirds. Farmer will inbound the ball to Milligan. 324 left to go, a one-point lead for the Lions, 94 to 93. Here's Milligan. He's going to hand the ball off to Dance. Dance looks to cut. He'll kick out to the wing. The three, the two-pointer. Sorry, no good. And the rebound picked up by Lester. Give it off to Young. And his pass is blocked there by Milligan. Sorry, that was Mabry's. Mabry's pass was blocked by Milligan. The rebound came to. Damian Young, who had it whacked away by a Firebird, and the Lions are going to take a timeout, and so will we. 3.03 left to go in the fourth quarter. The score, Gulf Coast 94, and Raleigh 93. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida, the first game of this season series between the Lions and the Firebirds. Went to the Firebirds by the score of 120 to 108. And this one has been close. The Lions have had three separate 10 plus point leads throughout the evening. They have not trailed since about halfway through the second quarter. They're in danger of losing their lead right now. The score 94 to 93, Gulf Coast. Farmer will inbound the ball to John Milligan. Milligan, pick up a screen by Farmer. Milligan is going to look to drive inside. Can he put it over the hands? Yes, but it's no good. And Benson will hand it off to Mabry. After getting the defensive rebound, Mabry. Malcolm Mabry trying to spin away from the defender. He cannot. He's at the left wing. Can he do it again? No, and he's going to get a foul. They're going to say the shot was no good. But he'll still go to the line for two as they're in the bonus. DJ. So Mabry will go to the line, I believe. And Mabry will. So he's missed the first of each of his last two trips to the line, but he's made the second after. 94 to 93. He'll bend his knees and shoot get the whistle beforehand, and he figured the time that he finally made one, and they blow it dead. Well, and a mistake by the Lions, it's going to cost him one of his Free throws. So he'll only get one with a chance to put the Lions up by two. 239 left to go in the fourth quarter. He'll bend his knees, shoot, and that one's good. That's another big free throw. 
you never want to miss two free throws, but if there's a time that you can't miss both free throws, it's when the score is close. And Mabry has avoided doing that. Now a shake and bake move, a long two-pointer, and it's good. Number 23, Nick McKenzie. Makes it 95-95, and oh, stretch pass back the other way. Cornell Benson puts it off the backboard and hit it, and the Lions quickly regain their two-point lead. Now here's Milligan. Milligan, now over to Farmer on the right wing. He'll try to take it down low. Now feeds it into the middle to McAllister, and he gets the, the foul. McAllister is going to get called for a charge. That's the third charge on the Firebirds today. The Lions do job of setting their feet down low. And the Lions will their foul. We'll get the ball back. Well McAllister standing at the free throw line. I think he wants two shots. Lions are going to keep possession. It's Lester who inbounds the ball to Griffin. And he hands it off to Mabry. Mabry is going to look to take it to the post. He'll feed it back to the foul line to Lester. Lester is going to drive towards the paint and draw the foul. 1.44 left to go. The score 97-95. Gulf Coast with the lead. And back to the line goes Lester. Lester has been the Lions' best player today. Their leader offensively. And he'll get to shoot two. These are two huge free throws for the Lions. If they can bank them both in just to gain a little bit of separation, which they've not had since early in this fourth quarter. And he misses the first one. Uh, if you want to win ball games, you can't waste three points. And the Lions have had trouble shooting from the line, but they haven't missed two straight free throws yet. As Lester makes that second one, a three-point lead for the Lions, 98-95. Milligan driving the drive in low. You'll find Nick McKenzie. McKenzie at the wing. Hands it off down low to Farmer. Farmer looking to drive inside and he'll draw the foul. Two shots for Farmer. He's been pretty much unguardable in this ballgame. He has at least seven to eight offensive rebounds on the game. And he's drawn a number of fouls and he'll go to the line. He's been fairly good from the line as well. I believe he's only missed one. And with the score close, he's a good player that you want to have on the court if you're the Firebirds. Here's Farmer. He free throws. He'll shoot. And it's no good off the front of the rim. Well, as we were talking about the Lions, they've had some troubles lately from the free throw line. If you're the Firebirds, you cannot waste any opportunity to put points on the board down by three with a minute 29 left. And this one is no good off the back of the rim. Rolls off the front. And the Lions will get the ball back. If they bring. Hands it off to Young. Now, top of the key is Lester. Lester drives down low. He's bumped off. The rebound tipped up by Quinnell. That one's no good. Million will go the other way. Now, here's Shaq Dance. Shaq Dance has been a key player for them. He's really shifty, too. He's done a good job at getting inside. Now, McKenzie with a long three. Air ball. No good. It was long. Long pass. Up to Damien Young. Damien Young's going to take it back and waste time off the clock. 54 seconds left. And he throws the ball out of bounds. Damian Young. He had Quinnell Denson free in the corner. He threw the ball out of bounds. And a turnover for the Lions. Hopefully that does not come back to bite them. But Damian Young could have taken a three-point shot there as well. And if they were in transition, a long pass from DJ Lester. 
The Lions are going to be working their press, and it requires the Firebirds to take a timeout. With 52.3 seconds left, we'll step aside. It's a close one. The Lions, 98. The Firebirds, 95. You're watching the Gulf Coast Lions on TBL TV. And we're back here from Sarasota, Florida, with 52.3 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Early in the fourth quarter, it seemed like the Lions had a chance to run away with it, but the Firebirds have battled back from three separate 11-point deficits. They now only trail by three. They have trailed as little as one just a few moments ago. And the Firebirds win down the ball. It's Farmer. Now, that's the right wing. He's going to look to drive inside on Quinnell Benson, and he does it! And the rebound picked up by Griffith. Griffith is going to get fouled. 40.3 seconds left to go. 98-95. And a chance for the Lions to put key points on the boards to gain some separation. And try and close this ball game out. Griffith, on the line, he bends his knees and shoots, it's good, 99-95, four point lead now for the Lions with 40 seconds left, not safe yet, but one more stop could seal the ball game for the Lions, and that one's good as well, it's 99-95. Milligan for three. No good off the rim. And the rebound goes to David Young. And he's going to get fouled. And the Lions look like they're going to close this one out. 100 to 95. Up by five with 30 seconds left. Points here would be devastating for the Firebirds. Chances at a comeback. Young will go to the line for two. He bends his knees and let it go, and it's no good. Off the back of the rim. And the lead will stay at five. But the Firebirds, uh, May Care will force the Firebirds to look for three pointers on their next possession. Can he get it? And no, it was long. Still a five point game, but it's thrown away by Damian Young! And if they're going to say it's a double dribble. Oh, that's a big call in favor of the Firebirds. And it looked like Damian Yonda coming out with a big steal. The lead still manageable with 28.3 seconds left. The Firebirds will have to make a three and then likely foul and hope for a couple misses with 28.3 seconds left. Well, the Lions trying to even the season series. They dropped the the opener, the first game of the season, on the April 9th. The score 120 to 108 in favor of the Firebirds. Will resume play. What out Benson barking at some people. Hopefully excited about a Lions win. Here's Million. He's got to rush up the court. He's going to try and get two. Can he get it? No, it's no good. No, 
Gilligan, the rebound Griffin, trying to waste time and not get fouled, he'll do so, 18 seconds left, and he'll draw a foul, and <laughs> he missed a dunk, wasn't going to count anyway, but that should just about do it, the Lions up five, they're going to go to the line for two, with 16.2 seconds left. Shot clock is off. With 124 seconds left to go. Griffin bends his knees and shoots, and it's good. That should secure the win for the Lions. A big win. They trailed early, but have not trailed since halfway through the second quarter. The second one is good. And that should do it. 102 to 95 to score. Bring down the point. And another foul on the Firebirds. Well, the Lions are barking even though they're cats. I don't really understand. But they're going to walk away with the win. 13 seconds left. 102 to 95. It's Griffith with the ball. He'll kick it out. Waste the last four seconds. Three, two, one. And it's over. The Lions. They're going to defeat the Raleigh Firebirds by a score of 102 to 95 on the back of Daniel DJ Lester. They want to thank you all for joining us. A great opening night for the Lions, only their second one in franchise history, especially after last year, only playing eight games due to the season being canceled. The COVID, a big opening night win for the Lions. They get some revenge after dropping. The first game of the season to the same Raleigh Firebirds. Once again, the final score, the Gulf Coast Lions 102 and the Raleigh Firebirds 95. This has been Christian Adams saying so long from Sarasota, and we hope to see you on our next broadcast. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of your evening. Right there, I went to the...